Hello, everybody. I'm sorry we can't be with you in the green room at Aintree this year. 2022 will happen and we'll all be hopefully together at the Festival of Racing. We are joined by AP McCoy, Sir AP McCoy, sorry, 20 times champion jockey. Sorry about the missing Sir there at the beginning of the little yes, introduction. Right, I will get it right and never do that again. <laughs> uh, but listen, I mean, obviously disappointed that the spectators aren't going to be at Aintree this year. Um, but I guess so much to look forward to nonetheless. Yeah, Aintree is an amazing place for a jockey. Mark, you know, that's the most famous horse race in the world. The thing what we're here in Jack Dodds Castle, the only Grand National winner that I managed to ride was trained here in Grand National, uh, trained here in Jack Dodds Castle. Have a look around, state of the art training complex. Don't push it, lived out in the field with the sheep, even in the rain, snow, all kinds of weather. But you won the Grand National on in. Don't push it, 2010. 2010. The Grand National favourite this year, Cloth Cap, is actually trained here at Jack Dodds Castle as well, and he lives out in the field with the sheep as well. So there might be something in that. So the Grand symmetry. Yes. So Cloth Cap, who is the Grand National favourite, might follow and don't push its footsteps. And we won't be seeing him because he's out there in a the field munching on the grass. He's out there. Well, just explain that very briefly. Why? Just that's horses. Uh, literally horses for courses. They've just yeah, prefer think, different things. Yeah, I think he settles better. He, he, he his um, regime seems better. He's happier out in the open, and um, you know you have to. That, that's the, the great thing about about horse racing and the way that they're trained that they're you know you have to do what you think is best for them and he prefers having out in the field okay look the green room was meant to make its debut at Aintree in 2020 mm -hmm. we hope we might be here in 2021 that hasn't happened but 2022 what what would green room uh, regulars or green room p potential customers uh, look, look forward to if they were get to head to Aintree for the first the, time the green room is a very special place Mark, but Liverpool is a very special place. It's a very wel welcoming place. It's a very, you know, I often think that my kids often say my daughter Eve had been going there since a very young age, and she always says if she was to live anywhere in the UK other than where we live, it would be Liverpool because the people are so friendly. And I think that's what makes Entry so special. Um, it's a really, really, even probably more so um, than any others, it's a real social event, and uh, it's something that shouldn't be missed. And if you go to the green room also, you get one of these amazing scarves. So that's another major bonus. Everybody. And you get to see us. And you get to see us, uh, which I'm, for you, I think, is a bonus. I'm not sure. I think us. I'm not necessarily in the bonus us. category. <laughs> and John Joe O'Neill will hopefully be with us as well. Another one of our horse racing ambassadors. Uh, green room, so much more than the event. Such a good tagline, that is. It? And actually does say what it's all about. But listen, thanks for joining us. Uh, Thank so you. the, the, you're going with the favourite cloth cap at this i mean we're way out at this point we are standing here I'd, I'd on like a cold to, day in march but yes if i was cho choosing a horse to ride in the grand national at the moment it would be cloth cap i love the symmetry to that look out for cloth cap everybody and we we'll hope to see you at the green room uh, at aintree in 2022